And a shout out to Ponophobia. Who I believe is watching us right now. Ah, oh, the boss is watching. Quick, do some work. You're the boss, Carrot. You're the boss. Yeah, that's what I'd like to think. Got an Evelyn band coming out. Excellent choice, because who wants to deal with that? Yeah. Indeed, who wants to deal with that? Oh. <laughs> Best QT tells me, in fact, is amazing. It's good. Ah, uh, whatever. A bra band? Can't, can't disagree with that. Uh, actually, hang on. Oh, you're going to disagree with that? Oh, I'll let you go. <laughs> Oop. Quickly get that over. Skin code time. I got skin codes. You're I'm going to do it. making noises like you're awkwardly trying to get furniture through a door. All right. Twitch. Let's band Morgana. <laughs> so that's two support bands. All right. Unless in chat, we're going to have skin codes. Oh, really? Yeah. Because yeah. I got some Nasus fan. That's very strange. Is very Nasus strange. fan. We're expecting a forty-five minute game from the purple team. <laughs> they do not want to have to deal with that. That's a very peculiar ban. I'm not sure why there's a Nasus ban going out there. Nasus isn't particularly like unless there's someone on the, the skin opposing code team, coming. Yeah. Please... There you go. Go go. You can't do this on the loading screen. We've got strategy to discuss. Shut up. I'll do what I want. Talon ban! The famous oceanic Talon being taken away. Vesp thinks he can join this call, but he really can't. <laughs> Sorry, mate. I told you, the boss. And I'm actually going to have skin codes every single match tonight. I've got right fist bumps, I've got arcade hecarim, and right blitz, and I get two, yeah, two fist bumps. So these are all codes I got from, uh, from Supernova in Perth. All right. Ergot ban. Whoa. That's specific. Ergot and Nasus. I'm not sure if this was a group decision or whether Gosu Reptilian is just going, you know what? I'm not dealing with Ergot. Or whether he's just cocky and going, I can beat anyone. I'm just going to waste that ban. <laughs> Could be. I'm thinking yeah. it's more the second. Or maybe he bumped. Let's, uh, let's see. What, what's next to Ergot that could have been banned? Udia or Varus? Maybe they bumped so, wrong. Nothing. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Oh, we, can't, we could have gone for Wukong and he missed. Swing and a miss. You see, if uh, someone's going to be picking up Wukong, <laughs> let them and invade them when they're juggling. Well, I yeah. suppose they could be a top laner. But then they again, could be. they've got Renekton. That's true. Rise. I love Rise. Rise is such a great top lane. Yes. Jax is a good one too. <laughs> Ooh. I guess we get to see what he's like uh, post patch. Yeah. See let's if he's see still how, OP. Uh, let's see how Jax plays out against Renekton. We know Renekton is known for his early game dominance, and Jax mm. has recently hit a nerf, so uh, his he, he'll still be uh, extremely dominant late game. But uh, the the ride up is going to be a little bit more of a struggle. Yeah. Well, that that should be the the real key thing is whether uh, the Renekton can overcome Jax's early game. Um. Oh my gosh, Vesp, get over yourself. <laughs> he, wants, he, wants, he wants background music. I told him not to have background music by Badger. I can just sing green sleeves. If you're going to have any, we're going um, to have hybrids. There we go, because this, this is how Oceanic rolls in, in Champ Select. <laughs> so purple team of... Oh, OG, I got the skin code, well done. You just gave out. A, you, you're just doing this randomly, aren't you? You're waiting for me halfway through a sentence. I actually really like interrupting you. It's it's actually my whole goal in life. I said when I grow up, I want to interrupt Stephen Gaston every time he says something. <laughs> Isn't that everybody's dream? It is. Actually, no. My dream was uh, for Papa Smithy to notice me, and he did during my stream. Oh, done. And I'm like, well, Senpai noticed way. me. <laughs> Uh, Tristana and Ziggs. That's, uh, I think Tristana's going to be quite strong at the moment with the new Infinity Edge changes, as we've discussed on the podcast quite a few times. And, uh, I think there's a lot of late game tower siege potential with the Ziggs and the combo. Are you giving out another skin code? You're quiet. Okay. I'm moving to another room so I can blow my nose rather than directly into the microphone. 
Oh, but I think that's something the community really want. Oh yes, oh, yes, yeah, <laughs> I can tell. Oh, Katarina, Katarina. locked in. Very this shall be interesting. In there. I think uh, Cyber might be uh, a frequent uh, Katarina player. Either that, or she knows how to get zigs. And I really do hope that Pips locks in Thresh because I really like uh, when Lucian gets reunited with his wife. Yeah. Vespa's mad. Poor guy. Vespa's mad. Yeah. Why are you mad, bro? Why are you mad? <laughs> he's like, he's like, no more suggestions. <laughs> he's all on Skype. Uh, Stop privately messages. Put it in the Twitch chat, like all good Oceanic <laughs> players do. Get mad there. That's that's or where it needs Oswald to be. Chat room. <laughs> yeah. I mean, seriously, what it what? This isn't really Oceanic stream games if there's not like massive amounts of trolling in the Twitch chat. There's actually a Twitter. There's actually a Twitter chat, like a Twitter handle that's just the best of the Oceanic Twitch. Ooh, we get some nice choices here, with uh, on the board. We get to see, 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 see if they go, go for it. I just had a, a confession from Miss Fish. <laughs> <laughs> uh, apparently, Miss Fish is the one that uh, quite enjoys the ergot, so someone's scattered quite well. Ah, nice, nice. Yes, we'll see a little bit of that, I imagine, as time goes on. Support Lulu. Mm. Who plays Lulu in support these days? That's, that's, good. Nah, that's, a, that's a good pick. I like it. Especially with Tristana. They, that'll give her a little bit of safety when she's at her weakest point, and uh, just Lulu's just all around awesome. Uh, mm. Provides a lot of safety with her ult, a lot of kiting, a lot of poke damage. Just good. And Elise. I have a, a rather strong opinion on Elise that I'm sure you're all aware of by now. <laughs> I no, no, really. <laughs> really, tell us what it is. I, I don't, honestly, I've never listened to you before, so I have no idea that you, like, play nothing but Elise. Well, maybe if you stop interrupting me, you'll hear But I do want to interrupt you. <laughs> More than wanting to know about whether you play Elise or not. More than wanting to know whether this Maokai gets locked in. Oh man, if this Maokai gets locked in, I'll be so excited. Maokai. I want to see that that twelve percent HP max HP damage rocking. Oh yeah, love me some Maokai. The question is, does he have a good skin? Because if he doesn't have a skin, then it's just like whatever. Notice uh, <laughs> right now that <laughs> this is really bad. The uh, the purple team are doing a lot of champion swapping. There's an interesting choice of summoner spells that I will not be discussing until... No, it's all locked in. It's all locked in. So it's all good. You can talk about uh, it. Yeah. You, you sure? I've still got 10 seconds. No, but it's, it's all that's before the game kicks in. As soon as they all lock in, you can. It's all good. It's revealed. Have you never played this game before? Have you never gone through champ select? I have. They've got uh, three ignites on purple team. Mmm. I think that's a bit excessive. <laughs> the, uh, I think uh, exhaust could have been could have been good. Maybe a couple more summoner heals. That's where the strength's at. Uh. Don't get me wrong, I think Katarina's very strong with Ignite on her, but I don't think Pips needed to take it on Thresh. Although Pips is an incredibly aggro player, so it suits his playstyle quite well. Uh, Jax, is go Jax and Renekton are both going for the dueling, and none of them are going for the teleport. Hmm. Yeah, that's... Uh, I think it's a... Teleport is just... It's still really good. Um, I, don't, I think people should probably take it. Especially if you're Jax, especially if you're weak early, you want to be taking teleport so that if you get bullied out at an early stage, you can get back quickly. Um, and it just means you can, especially, I mean, for a Jax in particular, you can put a lot of pressure on the towers and then you you can move for a dragon or move to, you know, move for a, to another lane for a gank. Um, so, yeah, but I mean, I guess, I mean, Renekton with, with Ignite's probably not bad because you can dive towers using his ult. So that's probably not a bad option, but um, yeah, I think I think Jax is probably better off with the teleport. I would tend to agree. I, I'm really glad that uh, Malachi's been picked up. That's for for multiple reasons. One, I really want to see Malachi now that those changes have come through. But two, 
uh, it's going to add a ton of protection for when Katarina goes in with her ult. You know, if mm. uh, if Renekton's about to slice and dice in to try and get his stun off, you can just twist it advance in there and boom. Yeah. She's getting yep. off her full channel. It's also Same with Thresh. Thresh can use uh, his, uh, his flay to sort of push them back as they come in. Oh, yeah, but the flay will not hold them down for nearly as, as long as uh, Twisted Advance mm. uh, Arcane Smash combo will. Mm. Actually, it's interesting. They've probably got no, there's no real CC that they don't need to sort of dive in there to apply to... to I mean, I guess Katarina dives in there anyway, but if, you know, there's still a little bit of a range on on uh, Death Lotus, so... Um, yeah, I guess the placement of that is kind of really matter because if she she jumps right on top of Renekton, stun straight away. If she jumps right on top of Elise, stun straight away. Um, I guess Elise has got the kind of the engage like to get past the the front lines. She can use her um her repel. So I mean that's I guess something worth keeping in mind for them. But um, hmm, what else we got? Uh, Tristana versus Lucian. What do you reckon? Uh, well, I think you really need to take into account the Lulu and Thresh as well. I think Lucian and Thresh is a very, very strong laning matchup. Mm. Um, I think Lulu and Tristana will kind of have the advantage at levels 1 and 3, uh, 1, 2, and 3, but I think uh, L Lucian and, and Thresh are just going to be able to control the pace of that, except for when uh, Tristana has her full combo available at level 6 again. So. Yeah. Uh, and if they play smart around that, if they know the damage that she's capable of, then they can just, you know, space themselves properly and they should be safe. So we'll see how that one turns out. Now, if you're in the chat, let us know uh, what they have the streams going. We're still trying to make sure we get the best, like in terms of buffering and things like that. We've had issues with that before. So let us know. Um, now, I've, I've actually should... had a text message saying that uh, the music is too loud because they can't hear me. Oh, OK. I've turned you up. So excellent. Hopefully, it's now working. Um, so I can deal with this music. All right. Um, so we should plug the. You want to talk about the the T Force podcast and the LCS rundown? Yeah. Well, the uh, the LCS rundown. I was just listening to that today. Uh, it's a, a great recap of the professional play. All over the world, focusing mainly on the LCS, as you would gather from the name, uh, both North America and Europe. Um, they really went to a lot of work this particular week with Super Week on, uh, and the uh, preliminary episode to that uh, was pretty big as well. As they're just trying to, uh, they're getting towards the end of the season. They want to wrap it, you know, try and predict who's going to Worlds. They want to try and predict who's going to be number one this season, etc. Uh, and they've really got a lot of insights, so you definitely want to check out to those guys. Uh, now the Trinity Force proper or uh, podcast uh really the one that started it all uh they uh they've picked us up as sponsors and we'll get to who we are shortly mm. <laughs> but uh they give uh great solo queue advice they have uh, a fantastic mailbag section that i very much envy uh they go into a lot of really uh high-end solo queue uh, what if scenarios and such all the time. They discuss the patch notes uh, and add a few insights that we don't have time to cover as well. So, uh, and Ponophobia is just awesome, especially if he's still in the room watching the show. <laughs> sure. And uh, we are the Ozol Podcast, uh, with Steve and I, and Vesp, uh, Ralph Vesputi, uh, Piano Bianco, yes. who's also <laughs> watching and also very annoyed with us because we were making fun of him. And we'll continue to make fun of him because he's not here. Um, <laughs> yeah, the night is young. There is more yeah. fun to be made. So um, we release once a week. We uh, have lots of great discussion insight about <laughs> the... Um, <laughs> Sorry, I'm just reading Ziggs in all chat. Continue oh, talking. okay. <laughs> um, I still haven't figured out how to get that all chat in there. Anyway, um, the we release once a week and we discuss lots to do with the oceanic scene and uh, also how to get better at the game. And uh, we've just had a really good week of talking about patch notes. The last couple of weeks we've talked about the 4.11 changes. So make sure you check us out, oslo.trinityforcepodcast.com. Uh, and you get all our episodes there. And we're always happy to hear from you guys. So if there's something you want to know, let us know. And, and we'll try and make it happen. Yeah. Oh, we got a pause. Oh, got a pause. Fantastic. Now, uh, I'm going to use this it, opportunity to uh, at get least, in there. 
Yeah, Elise is uh, glitched in some way. She doesn't look like she's able to buy items. Uh, she hasn't actually left the store yet. Oh dear. Paused, so seems to be all good. Oh, Elise is moving around, so... Yeah, still hasn't bought her items, though, so we'll see how that... Uh... <laughs> Hashtag LCS big pauses. Yeah. <laughs> Ghost nice. Reptilian being very funny. And another pause. <laughs> I, uh, oh, I, I wonder what's happening with Elise. She seems to be really struggling to... Uh, Elise wants to restart. Uh, yeah, I guess if they want to do that... Yeah, well, if it if it's uh, if it's glitched out, we don't want our first game of the night. So yeah, being uh, stuffed up by whatever kind of errors, in, unless it's a clerical error, and I'm doing it intentionally. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. When, when you no so, no talking about strategies during pause, you get banned. Uh, yeah. yes. And uh, Elise, she's able to move, I think. Okay, she needs to restart, so... We're going to have a little bit of a pause here, because yep. that's, uh, that's how these games go. Uh, we can probably talk about the other things. Absolutely everybody except Elise has bought a, a yellow trinket, which is kind of being expected these days. We're seeing a double... or We've got a Doran's Blade from Jax and Lucian on the purple team, and we have a Doran's Blade on Tristana. Doran's Shield on Renekton. Probably a good call, seeing the amount of damage that comes mm. from Jax's auto attacks. Uh, the supports spell spell thief's edge on Lulu, next to an display. ancient coin on Thresh. Both uh, good choices. Uh, I actually quite like the ancient coin on Thresh because uh, it allows it gives you that uh, option to to go for the movement speed cooldown reduction mm. that we all know and love, and especially without the. Um the execute um, on Relic Shield, it re it's really hard to actually get the gold generation off Relic Shield if you don't have that execute. So, um, I'm <laughs> seeing uh, many uh, threshes throw out a hook to try and get the last hit on a minion. Yeah, it's it's just too much work. Yeah, <laughs> the, the ancient coin is uh, whether it's always the way to go. I don't know. Probably not. But uh, I think it's a good pickup in this. Well, game. you know, you're not gonna take a spell with these edge. So, really. Mm -hmm. Probably ancient coins your best choice, um, unless you're like supremely confident against. I mean, maybe against a Soraka, where you might have a little less pressure in lane. But even so, it's it's it is as someone who's tried Thresh with Relic Shield, it's not easy. So, um, lots of trash talking going on here. I'm gonna just turn yeah. it for a sec. Oh, you've got the old chat. To I figured it out finally. Excellent. For all of those out there who are interested in such things, how did you activate that? Oh, it's in the inter. Well, you can see in the stream right now. The interface visibility down the right, the on the left-hand box. There's a little eye, and then you just click on that. It's got chat. You need to turn it on and off. I'm gonna turn it off because uh, we don't need to see all the trash talking. Um. All right. Yeah, I think. Uh, what else we got? That's uh with mentioning uh boots three pots or four pots for a katarina start which is interesting because she actually does a fair bit of damage early game so you think well, maybe go doran's ring but i guess the boots help with the, the skill uh, shots so I, I wouldn't go doran's ring on katarina she doesn't need that oh, she doesn't need mana mana aspect. Yeah, yeah yeah i i quite like the the boots because she does need the mobility and also if she rushes Sorcerer's Shoes, you can get that early uh, spell penetration, mm. which uh, which does a lot on Katarina. I've seen a lot of Katarina spell pen builds, and they seem to be probably the most effective. Uh, go for uh, Leandri's Torment and uh, and Sorcerer's Shoes to kind of get started. You could just throw out some serious damage on your uh, your base base damage alone. Looks like Elise has reconnected. So we'll expect the pause to be resumed quite uh, shortly to see if she can actually buy items this time. Uh, there we yeah, go. There we go. The game is will resume in one second. And yep. Yes, she items. can buy items. There we awesome. go. Machete, potions, 
No, oh, trinket. Yep. Okay, it looks like she's going for a multiple potion start rather than going for the the ward start. And for some reason, Ziggs is sitting on a rather obvious purple ward. Right, uh, I quite like the seen... purple ward. Uh, I, I didn't actually see when that went down because we were too busy mucking around with pauses and everything. I missed the action. Yep. So, someone, someone got in an early ward on the purple team, and I'm guessing it was Thresh. No, it couldn't have been Thresh. Yeah, it was. Um, it was Thresh, I think. Okay, so he's, he's... a red start from Elise. I think she's just. Uh, not wanting to be counter jungled because she knows that uh, Thresh and Lucian are in the area. Oh. Well, Jack's going on Renekton very early. I'm sure he'll uh, learn that that's a mistake pretty quickly. Yeah. I'm going to pay particular attention to Maokai, see his health levels and his clear speed, see how he's going. He's hmm. uh, opted for Arcane Smash and Sapling Toss as his first two skills. Yeah, I mean that, that's that's the main thing is about the more tanky junglers is how slow their clears are. But um, I'll, we'll have a, maybe watch him since not, not much else going on. <laughs> oh, put down his ward. Yeah. Oh, very good. I, I do like that portion. It slow slowed his clear by only a few seconds. I think that's worth it. Oh, massive Fresh. trade going down to the bottom. Oh, yeah, it looks like gonna I go told down. you it was aggro. Oh, look at this. Oh, the flash for it, the heal bait. I think this Matt the brat is dead. Yeah. First blood to Lucian might get a double kill. Oh no, she's able to get out. I think uh, Pips might have might have been able to secure that kill if we'd taken different pathing there. Oh, it looks like and that, that was simply We've got a gank going top and a counter gank top. We've got our glitch to Lee versus a big tree. Oh wow, this actually might. Oh, flash in from the Jacks. Oh, uh, oh go with... wow, that was a, a nice. Uh, Repel dodge out to get out. Advance. Oh, flash twisted advance. Arcane smash misses. Oh, the, you've got vision the from the There we Boom. go. There we go. Looks like it, they're going to trade kills, though. That ignite is almost definitely going to kill him. Yeah. Boom, there it is. Goes down. You, Renekton getting the kill. So, as the dust settles, Maokai and Lucian with one kill. Renekton with one kill. Yeah, so... Um, I think, really, in the bottom lane, that was uh, a... Uh, the lack of, you know, not realizing who's got which uh, summoner spells. So, um, you know, it's in the, the, the heat of the moment, it's easy to get caught up and, and go in hard to try and get the kill. But yeah, Mac, the Mac getting caught out um, there when really should have, well, should have realized that the heal was still there and, and maybe not go as aggressive. Yeah. Well, I think uh, I think Cyber played that very, very well because uh, it was his heal that saved Thresh and gave them the positioning advantage they needed to get that kill. I'm and now, top, uh, top lane. If you yeah, have a look, if you look in top lane, you'll yeah. notice that Renekton has double buff when he's already got an advantage just by his uh, his core, uh, the way he the way he works. So Jax is going to be very, very sad under this tower, and he does not have teleport to make up for this early yep. game disadvantage. So, ooh, it, gank in the mid lane, arcane smash going down on the zigs, but he's happy bouncing away. I don't think they're going to tower dive that because they're not insane. No. Also with the tower, ooh, Elise is ganking top, tower dive. Exciting stuff, Renekton's going to give up. Oh no, Renekton lives. Renekton lives. He keeps his double buff and Elise gets the kill. Uh, yes. Elise has already got a spirit stone and looks like we've got our first spirit mail in the battle arena. Yeah. So I think uh, I think that's a good example of where the teleport would have helped because, as you mentioned, you know you could back off and come back full health. But you know, with an Elise, that is the advantage of Elise is she can get get those ganks. Um, you know, again, going against the tower. I think um, what's happening now is uh, is definitely worth pointing out in the top lane. The minions are just frozen right at Jax's tower. If Elise or Renekton had pushed that one minion wave, Jax would have missed out on all of that golden experience. But as it is, he only lost about four minions there. You could have done a lot more damage to Jax there. Oh, what's the items? What is that item? Good boy. There we go. Oh, right. No idea what you're talking about. Oh, <laughs> I, lost, I lost the item screen, like where it shows all the items. I think that's O. Yeah, if you press right. O, it'll break back up. Oh, there we go. Excellent. Um. Well, look at bot lane. Lucian uh, has really taken advantage of that early kill. He is at 41 CS to 12. 
Tristana is going to be on the back foot for the rest of the game until she hits about level 15. Uh, level 6 isn't going to save her because she's going to have a level disadvantage. I think a nice turnaround from Lulu might be able to swap that around, but I really do think Lucy and Thresh are going to be able to control this lane. As as I was saying, on the oh, there's a tower shot. Yeah, we got a, uh, we got a gank in the top, though. We're about to go down. Yeah, so, Lee's coming in from behind the Jax, who's already on low health. Oh, no cocoon. There's the cocoon. There's the there's the execute. He's got a healing potion running. She's diving for it. Oh, spider oh. has got the KS yes there, I think. Ooh, nice. Um, so... What's worth pointing out, I think what led to that situation is is um, that uh, Renekton has got um, a giant's belt. Ooh, get a mm -hmm. hook in the bottom lane, wait a sec. Oh. Like a double kill. Oh. oh, the heal. The heal worked on top of the uh, the Ignite debuff, so I think uh, Matt the Brat really wants to stay in lane. I'm not sure he should, because I do believe that Thresh and Lucian will be able to tower dive him. Yeah. But... Uh, uh, the point so, that I mentioned earlier yep. of them pushing the lane so that Jax lost all the experience, Miss Fish actually pinged assist me like five times to make sure that the Elise stuck around in lane to at least push that wave a little bit. So mm. good call there by Miss Fish. Maybe listening to the stream while playing. Um, <laughs> so uh, yeah, the the Miss use of the giants built made a huge difference in that in that whole situation in top lane because essentially, yes. Uh, Jax was going uh, going hard on onto Renekton, but Renekton had just so much more health, and we can look at how much the health difference. So Jax has got a thousand, Renekton's got fourteen hundred, and that's that's what allowed Miss uh, Renekton to stand there, take the damage. Oh, Four yeah, yeah. Uh, this Elise is really doing the right thing in camping top lane. Getting Jax shut down early is basically going to do. It's going to do to Jax what uh, Lucian and Thresh have done to Tristana. It's going to make him a non-factor for a large portion of the mid-game. And without teleport, he's going to be forced to try and safely farm under tower. But with tower divers like Renekton and Elise, is that even the best option? So mm. I think they've really forced Jax's hand here. The other thing is uh, it would give Renekton a bit more flexibility in terms of where they can move. So he can, he can eat, come down to Dragon for a <laughs> help to... To help out, knowing oh no, Renekton <laughs> yeah, is totally caught out. Yeah, I think he used that uh, that freedom of mobility you were just discussing a little too liberally. Yeah, <laughs> um, but uh, I think he uh, tried he tried to do uh, tried to do something a bit aggressive and you know trying to snowball the lead, but he he just didn't have the ward coverage to kind of do that thing safely. So, and uh, I don't think Malkai was actually responding to anything. I think wow. we just have to be right place, right time. Ooh, Twist flashes might get a three. kill, maybe, just, not. Nah, it's oh, not going to happen. Oh, wow! That's, that is bad news. Bad, bad news for Tristana. Now, she's doing the right thing. She's buying Doran's Blades to try and, uh, to try and cement her lead, but she really needed to wait until she was level 6 before she did that. Yeah, she's still level 5 and she went crazy aggro. Oh, oh yeah, Katarina's just roaming down. That's the right thing to do. She should definitely stick around and help get this tower. There's a massive minion wave. Uh, there's no one in mid. Like Ziggs is down here, kind of uselessly, just endangering his own life. If he'd pushed the tower, he might have been able to trade some damage. But it was right for Ziggs to follow uh, Katarina down in the first instance. But uh, I think with uh, Tristana and uh, Lulu being in the state that they were in, he, there wasn't really a lot that he could do. Interesting, he's gone for a Sheen first, after his first Dorans. You phage? No, no, I'm talking about the Ziggs. The oh, Ziggs picked up Sheen. Oh, yeah, sorry, yeah, yeah, I'm with you. I'm like... So that's, uh... He's got another kick in yep. the top lane. This poor Jax. Uh, this, uh, this goes back to the, the lesson that we were talking about with Riven last week, is that if you've died two or three times in lane and they're just going to kill you again, don't go back to that lane. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, I think Tristana has done pretty well in uh, in not being, not putting herself into that position. Uh, she just uh, misunderestimated. She underestimated when her power spike was. Now, I just want to point out that Ziggs did 
the thing which you should every single player who's watching this to do, which is place a ward, pay attention to it. So, <laughs> Maokai was coming in for a gank. Oh, uh, forcing the flash. That's, that's good. Um, good. Uh, Maokai was walked up through the lane. Zeke was paying attention. Oh, I love that new ultimate on Maokai. Yeah, that is such cool. an improvement. Shut oh, down. good use of the, the ultimate there. Beautiful. I am loving Vengeful Maelstrom. Um, uh, it makes so much more sense now that it's centered around him. <laughs> it's, a, it's a lot of magic. Um, a lot of mana. <laughs> um, sense is real. <laughs> yep. Uh, Zix was paying attention to the ward. As soon as Maokai came near, he started to back off, so Maokai couldn't gank. That's exactly what their wards are there for, so make sure you place them, make sure you pay attention to them. Um, now, I like what uh, Lucian and, and Thresh are doing here, which is coming up through the blue jungle right behind Ziggs, which is going to be circumventing that ward. Important thing to note, if you look in the jungle, they've got two wards, three wards, in brushes all across the enemy bot, uh, uh, red buff side jungle, so... Yep. Uh, that, that was beautiful. Absolute masterful control of the map from the Lucian Thresh combo. And they and, managed, uh, and, and they caught out Ziggs while he was looking at the shop or not paying attention while recalling. Uh, unfortunately, the uh, the hook, the, the Thresh hook, which would have been surefire death had it actually connected, he anticipated Ziggs waking up a bit sooner. So, uh, <laughs> unfortunately for Thresh, the uh, he was it was actually too good. <laughs> he uh, he overestimated his opponent. Yeah, I don't know what this Lulu thinks she can do. She's uh, for no, through no fault of her own. She's she's in a very very dangerous spot. They've lost complete vision control of the jungle. Katarina's roaming down here now. They know that these these champions are just slim pickings. They know that there's no point in going top because their jack is so underfunded and uh, behind you with ganking that they can just control. They can just keep pushing this until uh, Elise is forced to assist them. Or until they start making plays elsewhere. See, I think uh, I think Ziggs is making a mistake here. As we said earlier, he can't really do much there. Um, if they're going to kill him, they're going to kill him, uh, and he just doesn't want to be part of that. He could have gotten. He probably could have taken down that mid tower. Uh, so I think that was a bit of a a, a missed judgment. I mean, I know you don't want your uh, your other lanes to lose, but uh, you want your lanes yeah. to win as well. So. That's it. And and uh, what uh, and Maokai probably did the same sort of thing with going to top to try and help uh, Jax. So Jax got killed. Maokai was too late. Maokai got killed as well. What they should have done is pushed up bottom lane. Cat uh, should have uh, and all four of them should have gone to drag. So all five of them should have gone to uh, no four. four. All four of them should have gone to drag and traded a kill on Jax uh, for a dragon, uh, and that would have been a much much more use. Like a much better uh, outcome for them rather than coming down by to try and get some kills when they're right pushed up against the tower um, and losing now kind the top. So um, again, I mean it's they're they're ahead and that's good. You know they're five hundred gold ahead, but uh, they need to sort of think about kind of take, try and take those dragons to try and get the lead, um, mm. especially when there's not a tower to, in the offing. Like right now, they're taking the jungle, they're taking the red buff, which is a, uh, it's a really good call. Uh, but they're, at the moment, they're what? Uh, 500 gold ahead? 300 yep. gold ahead. Yep. Uh, they could be much further ahead if they'd use that map control from the wards that they placed earlier to keep dragon, to, to take control of dragon. It's mm. 15 minutes in, and no one's even so much as, as warded the dragon area. This Jax is really... Really getting the don't return to lane point ran down his throat. Yeah. Uh, he, he hasn't even got a Blade of the Ruin King yet. Uh, and he's, what, 40 farm behind mm. uh, against the Sunfire Cape. Miss Fish is just going to walk all over him. He needs to go elsewhere. I think if Lucian, Thresh, Katarina, and Maokai all met up for a party, they could take two towers. Yeah. If, Rene if Renekton and... Uh, and Lulu and Tristana aren't going to be playing ball and grouping up. Well, that's it. especially especially given that. Oh, that was a nice start. Oh, wow! That, that was... is some serious burst. That's that Sheen coming into play right there. And they're picking blues, going picking the dragon, which is uh, which is a good move. Um, yeah, who is that pinging? That is. Uh... 
Give me a sec. Yeah, I just rewound so I can see who the pins were. And it doesn't tell me. That's helpful. <laughs> um, see, some people would think, particularly those in the bot lane, would think, oh, let's push to, for the tower because this is their only chance. That would be the wrong thing to think. And the reason mm -hmm. that it's the wrong thing to think is because you're not going to get the tower in time, so you might as well go for an objective you can get in time. So, um, like, look look how badly uh, the, the, the purple team had crushed that bottom lane and secured vision control, and yet first dragon goes to the blue team. Now blue team are up, what, 1,500? 1,600? Yep. 1, and they're going to get a tower out of this. As fed as Lucian is, he's not going to be able to stop this kind of pressure that they've got from the mini wave. Katarina could. Katarina could just come in there and get a triple kill. Oh, is that... Jax has got a tower. That's, uh, that's a nice play. While all five of them have gone for Dragon, uh, Jax has split push and got the, uh, got the tower. He really needs to get out of though. there, though. He's, uh, he's a few levels behind now. And uh, what's Renekton sitting on about? What, 150 armor? Let me bring that up. Uh, 180, oh, 185 magic resist? No, 189 armor. So there's, he's going to do no damage to this Renekton. Uh, trading flash is probably the best way to go. Yeah, they're not getting out of this alive. Oh, Katarina is going yeah. to be See, enjoying that. <laughs> at least made the mistake of standing in that brush rather than backing off straight away, and that allowed um, Thresh to come around and allowed Maokai to come around. So that was that was just being too greedy, thinking you could pick up another kill when you should have just been a bit more cautious. Um, yeah. Thankfully, even the tower's not going to go down, but uh, still, it's uh, you've got to be careful about these things. And what, just to go back to the the, the jacks, the jacks getting the the tower thing. That was the problem with Renekton not having teleport. So if he had teleport, they get the dragon. He teleports immediately to top, and then you wouldn't have that problem. Uh, but because he had no teleport, he couldn't do it. So yes, uh, having said that, he has got more kills because of the the, the ignite. So maybe on on uh, on even on balance. He's, uh, he's done all right out of it, but uh, yeah, still just one of those things you gotta you gotta just have a make a decision about a trade off. I'm a little curious about Zig's uh, Zig's choice to get a uh, tier of the goddess. Uh, he's not really known for someone who needs a large mana pool, and that item does take a while to to go up. I really feel that he would have been better off some, uh, like an ability power item. If mana's really a problem, maybe a couple more Doran's rings. That's, uh, again, that is another case of, uh, <laughs> returning to lane after you've been killed a bunch of times, so, uh, not much that, uh, Lulu could do about it, because she went there, but if she hadn't gone there, who knows? Mm. Maybe a mid-tower would have fallen. And, I mean, Lich Bane's works, I guess, okay with, in combination with his, uh, his short fuse, his auto-attack, um, damage. Yeah. Um, but Lich Bane is usually something better off once you've already got a bit of AP, so he, he probably should have gone for a, a uh, uh, Chalice oh of Harmony, and then gone into Athenes rather than going for Lich Bane and Tia. Mm. Um, yeah, because Li Lich Bane, it's it's fine to rush Lich Bane uh, in certain team compositions or certain strategies, and that that the strategy that I'm referring to is when you're going to be applying a lot of pressure to towers. And at the moment, Ziggs has taken he's missed every opportunity to pressure that mid tower. He seems to want to continue mm. laning. Even though Katarina's going even with him. But she's roaming more effectively. <laughs> Jax. Uh, Jax has just said in all chat, I'm so happy I've been left alone. Thanks, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's gripping up in bot for a, a big big rumble. Yeah. Oh, let's get oh, ready wow. to rumble. Oh, Malkai's venture mates come down. Oh, just the damage. Katarina comes in. Lucian's ulting down. I think Thresh paid for uh, paid with his life so that uh, they could get three kills. Wow! Look at that Elise damage. What has she got? She's got the Spirit of the Spectral Wraith. Not something you see often. And she's just bored an Aegis of the Legion. She's got tons of spell pen. That's a full. That's an AP uh, Elise right there. Yeah, it's which and, is interesting uh, because I mean the, the the main sort of approach has been more uh, sort of a tanky CDR build. So mm -hmm. that's interesting. Yeah, it's not very meta at the moment, uh, this particular build, but it definitely can work. If you look at the kills, there's it's 12 to 13. Eight of those kills are Elise's, and she has 100% kill participation. So if yep. a kill happened on, per on blue team, 
Elise was there. And uh, this build really reflects that. She's snowballing like crazy. I think this is going to be a case of uh, they need the jungler to carry, but there's so many people fed on the other team that it's going to be quite hard. So, uh, oh, wow, That's look at this. Well, Jax might be winning his first engagement. Look at this. He's got himself we, some movement speed. We He's got see what it's like. the Ruined King. Sorry, it'd be interesting to see what it's yeah, like. Oh, no, I was just waiting for the, the Dominus to wear off. He still had a fair bit of health, so... Um, yeah, I wonder if he could have turned around and still still attacked there, so... Yeah. Well, uh, if Redekton uh, realised he was losing that exchange, or at least not trading as comfortably as he used to because of that Blade of the Rune King, mm. he's just... Uh, Miss Fish has basically said, I didn't even notice, but now you have your Blade of the Rune King. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, even so, I mean, it still walked away with... Oh, I mean, probably close to six or seven hundred health. So, yeah, I mean, it would have been interesting to see if he turned around and stayed fight because, I mean, all, for all the damage that Jax puts out, he's still really, really squishy. Mm -hmm. um, so, uh, see, I, but I, it, but he did the right thing. And in that, you, you make a decision and you follow. Like you, you go else? like you, you follow the decision. You, you don't sort of back off or go half-hearted. Oh, this at least does so much damage. Oh, where are you going, Elise? You're not going anywhere. Oh, Renekton here to save today. I'm not sure how much saving he's going to be able to do. Oh, nice splash from Elise! And she stays in the fight. That's exactly what you want to do. Even if you're low on health, if you've made it to safety. Oh, is the Ziggs ult coming in? Yep. Katarina yeah. and... Oh, Katarina and Ziggs are fighting in the river. We've got uh, Crocodile taking on a tree. Yep. Oh, they're both just going to disengage and go back to safety. I don't think anyone's feeling confident that they're in the driver's seat. And... Uh, as we were saying earlier, Jax is just going to be a monster in the late game, and it's getting close. It's getting close. Mm. I mean, we're we're still in the mid game here. We're at 23 minutes. Once we get to that 30 minute mark, you're not going to be able to stop that Jax from split pushing. Well, it's getting to close to the point where it's because I mean, Trinity Force and Bork is like you know that's become the 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 critical mass for for Jax, and he's he's getting close. Uh, he's still got a while to go. I mean, he hasn't really started his Trinity Force, but. Uh, Bork alone is, is, does quite a, quite a bit of damage. Having well, said that, Renekton will soon enough have a, a Randuin, so... Yeah. He's just he's just bought a Giant's Bolt and a Longsword. Now, I don't think he's going for uh, for a combination of those items. I think the Giant's Belt is just so he has enough health to win those trades, and the fa like that'll be building towards a Phage. I think that's where that's going. Uh, that was a nice, uh, nice rotation to Dragon. They knew they had their map pressure everywhere. Jax has pushed up in top. Katarina's holding Ziggs mid. Yep. Bottom lane has been pushed the entire game. You just uh, Solar Frost Flare and uh, and Matt the Bat. If you guys are watching these VODs later and you're after a, a little bit of advice, the biggest thing you could do is try and roam elsewhere and make plays. Just going back to to die again and again and again is not working out for you. Oh, Jax is not going to be happy here, but he should be able to... And what... What's what they did, which was really smart. Uh, uh, that release and reckon was smart. They waited for the Counter Strike to, to go away. The um, yeah, Counter Strike. That was is that what it's called? I forget. Yeah, Counter Strike with a yes, the little yeah, yeah. spinning yep. over the head thingy. Yeah, that's yep. Counter Strike. Had a bit of a brain freeze. So yeah, they they waited for the Counter Strike to wear off, and then they engaged and landed all their their damage. So um, that was that was a good move by them. Um, Uh, my, my, my game and, uh, computer just lagged like crazy then, so. Oh, I'm not sure if everything else went down. Are you still on the call? Okay, I'm, I'm still on the call, yep. Excellent, just making sure that I am still connected to the internet and I'm just not watching after images. Well, Pips has been caught by the Lulu Slow. Oh, she wants to give the kill to Ziggs and my computer's frozen again. <laughs> no, it still keeps keeping moving, but, um. Yeah, that's probably gonna be it. That's it, yeah. Oh. So. Nice. That's that. See, although they had. Oh, here we go. <laughs> That's a lot of damage. Oh, shut down gold on the Ziggs. Double kill to Lucian. Oh, wow, just look at those skirmishes. I gotta say, the skirmishes from the from the junglers and top laners have been just a treat to watch. Oh, look at that. They're gonna trade one for one. Maokai and Renekton, they're not sure who. Well, except it's really a, it's a trade in the favor of Blue because they took down Renekton and uh, they took uh, people took down Elise. So took down Jax here, yeah, which is yeah. a more valuable kill. Um, See, I think Miss Fish probably could have uh, could have won that 
Um, although you don't want to stick around when uh, well, you that's, know that Katarina's that's the coming. Yeah. So, so look, at this. look, Tristan is still in the bot lane. You got to fix that. Uh, well, except that, except that, purple are pushing bot. So I mean, it's one of those things that really what purple should be doing. If they well, they should be getting more control over the the, the jungle vision. But they should all be grouping up as five and pushing the objective. But because purple keep, um, oh, this should be interesting. <laughs> Razek, That's not what you Razek. want to do, Cyber. That's no, I think, I think you're going to go down, buddy. I think he's finally bitten off more than he can chew. Yeah. 500 gold for the crocodile. Um, yeah, because of that lack of vision control, you know, so... Why are you grabbing onto... <laughs> that was... I think, yeah. I think he's just trying to stop the recall, just trying to waste his time. But by doing so. so, he's put himself in a not-so-great position against the Ziggs. Mm. I think, uh... Yeah, because the Ziggs is 3-1-2, and two, which is not a bad score. And it looks like he's going for his Zonyas. So he's not even upgrading the uh, tier of the Goddess just yet. It's at 452 stacks. Maybe he's uh, planning for the late game uh, bonuses from that uh, from that tier, but he hasn't built a Rod of Ages, so the bonuses aren't going to be, say, nearly as good as if he just bought a Blasting Rod. See, uh, if, if Tristana's going to stay in the bottom lane and farm, which she kind of needs to because she's so far behind... The, the smart thing to do would be to, for Lulu to go elsewhere, help push a lane, and then let let Tristana, you know, let Lucian push up against the tower. Tristana pushes, you know, farms it out, all that sort of stuff. So, and then you're still getting a bit more group pressure on other objectives. But it just seems that these guys, rather than grouping up and pushing down towers, especially mid tower. I mean, if 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 people can get mid tower now, they'd be in a really good position to capitalise on their their gold advantage. Uh, so they should be grouping up, but they're not. It's just continuing to sort of push it like it's still a laning phase. So, um. Yeah. Well, um, one of the reasons that Lucian and uh, Lucian and Thresh are still in bot lane is because they know they can just show up and get free kills. They know yep. they're going to win every single fight. Uh, and and they, know, they know from experience that Katarina will come down if there's an opportunity to tower down them. Mm. So... Uh, they have no reason to not keep up this pressure. Jax has finally hit that point where he can just keep put, split pushing top. So it's really it's really on blue team to do something to stop this from snowballing yeah. out of control at this point. I think Maokai is trying to do that in the mid lane right now. But he has no backup, so I don't expect... Oh, hang on. No, Maokai is on his team. Never mind. <laughs> Slight error of judgment. Oh, there we go. Blue team making plays in the bot lane. Jax is probably going to be able to trade that for a tower on top, though. Look at the zoning here from this Elise. Elise is just doing so much damage. And now, finally getting some tank stats. I'm not entirely sure what she's building. Glacial Shroud and Warden's Mail and Haunting Guys. That's that's a lot of heart. Well, this could be Frozen Heart, which makes sense if you're fighting a Jax. Um, and fighting an Anna Lucian since he relies on Freeze Ultimate, relies on tech speed. Um, so uh, now we should probably do a, a check of where everything's at, uh, trinket wise. So we're at the 30 minute mark. <laughs> no one has upgraded their trinkets. Upgrade your trinkets, do you it. Make you make Carrot very sad. Yeah, make me very sad. I like to harp on that. It's because it the things I like to harp on are in this order: dragon, trinkets, and that's it. <laughs> then just rinse and repeat. Yeah, rinse and repeat. So I mean, really, as I say every week, three sweepers should be upgraded to pink, uh, two of the uh, the vision totem wards, the pink totem wards. So, um, and I mean, if you. Really, if you're a purple team, you probably want to be getting control around Baron because you'll be able to, uh, once you get that mid, the mid towers down, you can really start to. Um, uh, once that, you get the mid tower down. Nice, that was a nice attempt at stealing Dragon by the Ziggs with the ult there, but uh, a but, uh, good try. That's definitely the play that you want to make. Oh, wow, Lucian <laughs> going deep. Lucian throwing out. Interesting that he's gone for the Blade of the Ruin King Trinity Force build. Uh, that's, uh, you know, two weeks ago I would have said that's the way to go. Um, the, all the professionals are building Infinity Edge on him first, which mm. just confuses me. See, they've got uh, they've got a lot of vision here, and I think they have the numbers advantage, so I think they should fight this. I think Purple have the uh, 
have a good go here, or they shouldn't just go too deep. Pips, what are you doing? Oh, a twisted advance going to the back line as the rest of the team's falling out. I think Arkan Overland's dead. Oh no, he flashes to safety. What is Katarina doing down here? Well, she went, she <laughs> tried to sort of loop around, but um, uh, she found Tristana, and Tristana then altered her when. Uh, when she went to ult herself, so that was actually that was actually quite good play by by Tris, which is a really going to allow her to get back into the game. Yeah, look at that. I think the uh, I think that positioning from Katarina might have cost them uh, a couple nice. more kills than they were betting on. Look at that! It's All right, be that's fantastic. A fair for one trade in Blue's favor. I really do think that Purple should have committed to that earlier. Uh, with the Jacks without teleport again, don't mean to harp on this, but he could have joined that fight. Um, or he could have continued split pushing, but he didn't seem to do either. All right, Look at so this. Like People go... sweeping out the Baron and starting mm. it up. Check this I think out. That, uh, it's probably a good play with uh, with the jungler, the jungler down and everything. They're they're doing the right thing and they're pu pulling off. Except the Jax. Oh, Jax. Oh, a little bit slow in that repel. See, so, yeah, that was uh, that was a needless trade. They didn't need to. Uh, have Elise go down there. I think Elise is just enjoying her fedness and trying to <laughs> trying to continue the lead that she has, but she just overstayed her bounds then. If she'd pulled back a little bit but continued the fight, then Jax would have just died for his turn. Yeah, I mean, it didn't really work out in their favor. I mean, baiting out Jax, okay, that's not a bad idea to try and pick up another kill, but, I mean, because they lost Elise as part of it, they, you know, they, they should have decided if they were going to bait, they were going to bait. I mean, Rather, yeah, like, either go push Baron and get take Baron or try and bait out Jax and get Jax. Like, don't start Baron and then decide to do something else later. Yeah, to, to be fair to our Oceanic Brethren, these guys are not on voice chat. True. Like, they couldn't have gone, turn on Jax, you know, they didn't yeah. have time to, let's try and bait Jax in, because they didn't know Jax was going to come. There was, a, there was a call for Baron that was made. Yeah. Everyone went to it, and everyone peeled off when they realized that they were going to go for Jax. So, I think that part of it was... Pretty well done. That was very, very well read uh, by everyone because I don't think there was at the time. I don't think there was pings that went down indicating one way or the other. Uh, so it was just well, well, well. Good reading of your, of your teammates there. Uh, the Elise going in and everyone else being kind of hesitant. Yeah, I think, I think you could have played that one a little bit better. But that's that's just tiny team fight mechanics. That's not a a massive place for improvement. This Renekton is so damn tanky. Let's. I want to read out some of these stats. We've got 278 armor, 134 magic resist, and 3,400 HP. Oh, switching to the targets there. I'm not sure why Elise went for Thresh instead of the Jax. The, they had the same, approximately the same range. That Ignite should get that Thresh. Oh, the shield might save him. It does. But there are no conditions to defend against this push. They can uh, they can just whittle this down as much as they want. Look at Tristana. If Tristana's hit level 15, it's time to worry about it. Yeah. She's got an Infinity Edge. She's got a Phantom Dancer. Phantom Dancer, I don't think, is quite the right item. Uh, Tristana already has a uh, a massive amount of attack speed, so she should really be pressuring this tower. If her teammates are going to die, she needs to be pressuring the tower, not just. Uh, I think uh, Tristana right then was thinking, fall back, fall back, fall back, but uh, everyone else was, go ham! <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah, I think this Ziggs is going to, oh, might escape, but I don't think so, and if he is, it's going to cost uh, Solar Frost his life. Boom, there goes the support. Yeah. Did what a support's supposed to do, which is give their life and sacrifice to their team. Yep, I'm not sure if these other guys are going to get away. Uh, oh, no, it looks like Thresh has already used his... Uh, Talisman of Ascension, so uh, yep. they should be safe. But uh, they, no one pushed the min, mid minion wave. If someone had taken care of those minions, purple team could have taken this mid in, in, inhibitor. It looks like there's a rotation call to bottom, but I don't think the minion wave's big enough to make a difference there. So they're not gonna be able to capitalize on these kills that they just got, apart from just going back and selling. I mean, dragons up in 50 seconds, but everyone will be back up and ready to fight by then. Well, someone's uh, pinging to fall back from mid, which is probably a good idea because yep. Lucian's off split pushing and Malachi is back in uh, back in town. So uh, they're doing the right thing. They they're going around. They're uh, securing map objectives, clearing out jungles and such. 
I do like that there is a purple, uh, purple pink ward in the brush, and is anyone going to check this brush? Yes. Lulu. Oh, no, that was Ziggs who did that. Ziggs uh, checked the brush there. They're starting it up. Lucian is in no place. He's got no teleport. You can see how fast this Baron's getting burnt down. Yeah, Baron is being destroyed. They're going to get a turret for it. I think Lucian's going to try and push for the inhibitor, but Baron does go yeah. to the blue team at 36 minutes. And that's exactly... That oh, Lisa's going to go down, though. See you, Lisa. Too greedy. Too yeah, greedy. too greedy. Um, but that's exactly the sort of why you need vision control oh, of Baron. Oh, if... was not well placed. Oh no! Wow. Tristana's hit her power spike, buddy. You gotta learn to uh, you gotta learn to fight on her terms now. But uh, purple team keeping up the pressure. Uh, they're not gonna be able to stick around for very long against this because they will be at a numbers disadvantage. Katarina's a bit out of position there. She needs to get out. Dragon is back up, and she's leading the blue team right to it. Yep, blue team have made the call for Dragon, while everyone on the purple team... And this should position. probably even up uh, the gold tallies it once will. they take this. Will take them, this will take them almost to the exact same amount. Look at that massive minion wave in top. That's beautiful. That's really good manipulation. Oh, look at this Lulu clearing the wards! The the, wall, awesome. the the trinket has been changed to a to a oracle's lens. Ah, oh, finally. And yep, Elise has upgraded to uh, upgraded the oracle's lens, so we've got. got at got least two people listen. Yeah, that's right. And so, hey, blue, well, yeah, it's, and uh, that's probably what tipped them over as well. That now they've got equal gold. In fact, blue have got a slight lead. So there you uh, go. Yeah, we, yeah. What's, what's just under getting this massive minion wave in top? Yeah. Um. This is an exciting game. This is an exciting game. <laughs> so, um, Brad Pack just said in all chat, I upgraded Trinket. Are you happy? <laughs> <laughs> nice. I approve. Very happy. We've noticed you, Matt Pack. We've noticed you. <laughs> Jax you is going that? up to split push. Again, he does not have teleport, so uh, if uh, they do get engaged on, which looks like Blue Team are trying to do here. Yeah, well, that's the smart thing oh, to do. Oh, they missed calling. It's just oh. bouncing right off the tanky flesh of the crocodile. Katarina going for the back She's line. She's going here, but she got caught out. Sonya's with nothing. Malachi's not dealing for her. They're going to lose this fight. She oh, didn't even shut get... down gold. Goes to the tanky, tanky Renekton. Thorn mail on Renekton. Oh, my goodness. And he's sure that was entirely he, needed. Uh, he's, building a build water, he's built a build water cutlass, so he's building towards Bork as well, which is kind of a bit crazy. <laughs> Look at this, Miss Fish has so much armor, just tanking this and taking no damage for it. Oh, this Jax has got game. What's that health bar vanish? Yeah. Boom. Matt the Bat is on a rampage. This is the 0 and 3 Tristana from the laning phase. Coming back with a vengeance. Now she's got armor penetration. Just, she's level 18. She's at a max auto attack range. Oh, level 17, sorry. I was looking at Ziggs. Yeah, look at that. Just the the per, the blue team's work on uh, on the power spikes of Tristana and just getting on the back of Elise really paid off. That's going to be game one going yeah. to the blue team. Very well played. Is they going to finish it off? They can finish it off. GG. I think what really turned that fight in their favour was that um that uh, Katarina just could not get into that fight like she just she walked in trying to position and they she just got completely caught out she had to zonia's and then uh you know then she and then she got killed before by uh, by renekton so that was i think that's what really allowed um uh blue team to stomp through that 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 match so that last yeah. fight that all was right. a good chat. that was really really good excellent all right well i'll set up a second game